Climate change isn't the only factor melting the Thwaites Glacier, according to a new study from the Earth Communications and Environment Journal. Rather, the Earth itself may also be warming the massive block of Antarctic ice, which is colloquially known as the Doomsday Glacier. According to the study, the crust beneath West Antarctica is between 10 to 15 miles or 17 to 25 kilometers thick, compared with around 25 miles or 40 kilometers in the east, and this means that substantially more heat from below can access the west than can access the east. The researchers found that a geothermal heat flow of up to 150 milliwatts per square meter can occur beneath Thwaites Glacier, according to the study's lead author. Ultimately, the temperature on the underside of the glacier is dependent on a number of factors, including whether the ground consists of compact, solid rock, or of meters of water-saturated sediment, according to one of the study's co-authors, Karsten Gohl. It was already known that hidden rivers of relatively warm seawater cutting across the glacier's underbelly, plus the effects of unmitigated climate change, which warms both the air and the ocean, had caused massive melting. However, Gohl, a geophysicist, says that in addition to these factors, large amounts of geothermal heat can lead, among other things, to the bottom of the glacier bed no longer freezing completely or to a constant film of water forming on its surface. Both of these effects can ultimately result in the ice masses sliding more easily over the ground and into the ocean, causing rises in water levels.